you waiting, you know? Yeah, you have. It's been a while, huh, Warden? From what I can see, it seems you haven't changed. Hmm? Why would I? Oh, it's because Haruka changed a lot, right? <sighs> Men do change a lot when they're with women. For now, I'm relieved. Then, I'm going to begin the interrogation. Um... You know. It's kind of annoying, so I'll pass. What? Just hurry up and extract the song or whatever. And then, go ahead and give me your innocent or guilty. Hmm. That's a pretty uncooperative attitude. Sure. I just don't really care. You know... Even if you're not interested, I'm just going to do my job. Your job? Huh. How is it? Is it your job to make everything chaotic? Is it fun? What are you trying to say? Are you satisfied inside now? Cause like, because you call this innocent and guilty, the prison is like this now. Are you talking about the conflicts between the prisoners? Uh, yeah. Miss Kotoko, who you said was innocent, she was super violent, and then injured people came rolling in one after the other. You mean Mahiro and Futa? That was an incident that I had not expected. Really? If you ask me, Miss Kotoko is someone I would definitely never be friends with. She's the type of girl who just jumps to conclusions and won't actually talk with you. Well, actually, I'm not really sure who I would get along with. Like, Miss Mahiro is definitely going through something. I think both her body and mind are at the limits. Also, I think Mr. Mikoto was also attacked, but apparently the fight ended in a draw. He was surprisingly really strong, and Haruka and Muchan have become kind of annoying lately. Oh, Amane and Mr. Shido too. Amine and Shido? They're like the total opposite of Haruka and Muchen right now. Oh, but it's just my opinion. You see for yourself. So, Bao was also an effect of the first trial's results. Yeah, honestly. It's so fucking annoying. Mm. I said so at the start, didn't I? I think there's no real point of punishing people outside of the law. I had no interest in Milgram. Yes, I remember. You said that you would not care about my judgment and remain as you were. Yeah, that's right. I'm happy you remembered. But you know, I don't really hate Milgram as well. It's full of weirdos, but it's warmer than my normal life. It did appear like you were having fun. Yeah, it was fun. They may be murderers, but they're kind of interesting people. It puts me at ease, in a way. They were all people lacking in something. So, you're saying that that changed and it's my fault? Yup! Now it's so irritating, it's not fun anymore. I'm completely cooled off. Yeah. So, are you satisfied now? Uh, you know, you all are murderers. In order to clarify your sin, my job is necessary. Do you Malcolm, just like, keep desperately repeating that back to yourself? <laughs> you want the truth, huh? Yes, of course. As Mogan's warden, I have to correctly judge your sins and I- I had a lot of sugar daddies! And had an abortion. Uh... That's probably my murder, I guess. So... Go ahead, give me my verdict. Um... What? Is that what you want? Are we done now? You know... You... Uh... You don't sound surprised. You probably knew it from the song extraction, right? Well, yes, I thought that was a possibility. That was included in what Milgram defined as murder. I'm sure it is. It's what I felt it was. Anyways, you felt it? I can hear it while I'm in here. Everyone else can probably hear it too. Voices picking in, digging around, and discussing my sins. What? Were you 
we're not talking about that. Uh, awkward. I'm sorry. I don't know. I wasn't told Milgram had that kind of effect on you. It's... It's true that I did call you innocent considering this fact, but... I never paid much attention. <sighs> okay! How about I tell you the second reason I'm cooled off? Huh? Jeez, I'm trying to lighten up the mood. I'm beginning to not understand you at all. You're a really boring person. Uh, alright, alright. Please continue. My second reason for cooling off is... Well, it's like... It's because I was declared innocent. What? Well, it's not really from that itself, exactly. I don't understand. It's what the voices in my head have been saying. Like, oh, poor girl. She's gotta have a good reason. She's probably had a hard past. She probably had a family issue, so she doesn't know what love is. Because of that, I think she's innocent. Shit like that. I... I might have believed some of those things. So, you agree, huh? Well... This is like purely my personal opinion, but I find this assumption really preachy and gross. It's all bullshit! I can't believe they think I'm a poor girl and made up a backstory for me. They made up an ideal, sociably acceptable version of me in their heads. They're really people like that. And well, these people won't do anything for me. You know. I'm not a poor girl. My family gets along super well. I'm not struggling for money. I decided to do this all out of my own free will. Because I felt like I wanted to. But then... But then... What were you aiming to achieve if you're... Sugar daddies? <laughs> Wait. Why are you stammering? <laughs> you're so pure. Shut up. <laughs> I won't judge your actions outside of murder, but what you're doing is definitely ethically questionable. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't care about that stuff. <laughs> oh my god, I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> my stomach is getting a bit... Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Very bad phrasing. <laughs> no, but seriously. I don't care about ethics and morals. There are lots of people who think they have to abide by society's rules and just end up miserable. They should just be more carefree. It depends on what they do. Yeah, duh. I don't think crimes are good. But dirty stuff doesn't hurt anyone, right? Like compensating dating, just because society says it's wrong, I have to hide that I do it. But does anyone get hurt from having a sugar daddy? It's a win-win for both of us, I think. Uh, it's as I said before, I have absolutely no intent to find out what you do outside of murder, but the truth is, your compensated dating is connected to your murder. Hmm, that's true. I don't want to bother arguing with you that abortion isn't murder. Sure, I'm a proud murderer then. I... I don't really understand you. You seem picky, yet you're not really... having strong personal opinions, yet not sticking to them. I'm not trying to win this discussion. I'm just saying what I think. So, you feel no regret? I didn't really get the feeling of taking a life. I couldn't feel there was a life. Only discomfort and sensation in my body. Are you disgusted? Sorry, but I can say that I'm sad, but I'm really not. It's something that I'll never understand, because I've never experienced it. That's true. Mm -mm. Even if I was scorned by you, I would have been okay with being told I'm guilty. I don't believe I'm not in the wrong. I'd accept it. Mm. Despite that, you made assumptions about me and sympathized with me, even though all I did was make a rational decision for my own free will. I'm sorry, but that's the kind of thing Milgram is. Then I hate it. It's fine.
even if you do. Can you not say I'm innocent without pulling out some stupid reasoning? What's your impression of me? The reality is that Milgram's judgment is... complicated. Hard for me to define. So, it's completely subjective? If another person did the same thing as me, would they get a different judgment? Well, even in actual laws, punishments will take extenuating circumstances or the motive into account, so... Well, I guess so. But if you're fair to the law, <laughs> I can't be accused of murder. This is Milgram. Yes, yes, you love Milgram a lot, don't you, Warden? That's not exactly true. Oh? The prison must be hard on you, huh? Me? Yeah, of course it's hard for you, right? I... I don't think that's the case. Hmm, okay, I'll drop it. Oh, the bell's here! Hey, hey, go ahead and extract the song, or something, I don't know. <laughs> what I did now, right? What else is there? All this talk about reason, motive, personal feelings, it's all up to you to decide in the end. You sure like to nitpick about my job. Oh? Are you mad? <sighs> A little. I mean, stuff like being innocent and guilty, this is just part of the game you made up. I can't get warm from something like that, unless you want to hire me right now. Uh, say whatever you want. No matter what, I won't quit Milgram. Yeah, yeah. I believe I've said it before. I will make my decision in your verdict. No matter how selfishly. Oh, you did say that, huh? So complain as much as you want, you sick girl. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I want to ask you something. Go ahead. Am I really alive? Huh? What are you... Uh, if you don't know, that's fine. You know... I... Hey, it's time, right? Uh, ah, yes. Prisoner number two. You know. Sing your sins. No.